virus. So we're gonna talk about how a virus infects a person and how we get rid of the virus. Right? Right. <laughs> so first, what happens first? There was a virus. There was a virus. And then who came and saw the virus? Maxi. Maxi the macrophage. Macrophage. And he ate the virus. And then he left a little antigen. And who did he give the antigen to? The helper T cell. The helper T cell. And the helper T cell says, Oh, I'm feeling activated. Activated. The helper T cell got activated. And the helper T cell did two things. First, the T cell made clones. clones. And then he activated the killer T cells. He activated the killer T cells. Now that they were activated and the clones were made, we're ready to fight. To fight. So we get to the wall and the killer T cells take care of the intracellular viral infection. But in this cell, there was so much virus that what happened? They were mm, multiplying. multiplying. And there were so many that you couldn't even count them. What do we call that? They know we need more antibodies. They need to get two up there. We need to get more helpers. So the helper T cell called on the B cell. The B cell. Because the B cell makes antibodies. Antibodies. And what do the antibodies do? Uh, what the antibody doing? What does it do? What does it do to the virus? It sticks to the virus. It sticks to the virus. So after the antibodies stick to the virus, then what happens? It calls all of the other white blood cells. We get more. More killer T cells, more Maxi, Maxi the macrophage, macrophage, but the two Maxi. Yeah, and more B cells, B cells to make more antibodies. And after they attack all the virus, then what happens to the person? They get better. They get better. Huh. All right. Hey. Say, uh, can we pay them? Say bye bye, camera. Bye bye, camera. Say be safe in Hurricane Douglas. Be safe from Hurricane Douglas. <laughs> okay, you can um, press the square. Um.